look look the damage what is up guys and welcome to the beyond silence channel my name is shanks and today we are going to cast a replay for battle for middle of one on the patch 2.22 in a good versus evil matchup between the green rohan player farad and his opponent the white motor player rangel opening with a slaughterhouse into orc pit and of course recruiting also golem eventually golem is very important against you know early soldiers from gondor or the peasants from rohan because he's able to catch up to them golem is faster compared to those melee good units and also faster than orcs the only unit that can outrun and even chase down the golem himself are the uruk warriors from the isengard faction but this is no rubble of mindless uruks these are mindless peasants running down and you can see Gollum can be quite annoying. He will be able to deal it, it, kill at least one of these before they can make it to the slumber mill. And it's not the best choice to attack through the middle against Mordor. And here is why, okay? So you coming from the middle means you will be fighting around this location where the Ur Orc Pit is. So the Mordor player will be able to produce Orcs for free every 30 seconds and they don't need to walk at all they can just come out and fight immediately for that reason it's better in most cases to attack through the top side with the first wave because then you can win the 2v2 situation against the two orcs you know basically peasants beat orcs in a one-on-one -on -one situation even with the eye of sauron two orcs against two peasants the two peasants will win and remember the model player going for the delete golem sending him through the middle was actually you know like a perfect situation to go to come from the top side but of course he doesn't see what we see he doesn't know what we know but just like a quick tip so attack from the top side hack the wall here and come with the two starting peasants from this location but it's fine so that's a phenomenal start into the game as the motor player he didn't you know receive any damage he has untouched eco and doing a good job with the workers too to not lose them to the peasants in the meantime, Steve up on the field into the first Rohirrim, but Mordor's beast is looking incredibly strong. If Orc Pit, one, two, three slaughterhouses into the Haradrim Palace, which will give you the chance to be actively participating in the map control fight other than waiting for the Troll Cage or for the Nazgul, the Haradrims give you the option to creep quite easily, and later on you can also recruit the soldiers of Rune as a, some sort of pikemen, and they can counter the Rohirrim. Okay, beautiful. So, Hobbit was able to get cloaked, but he's moving, unfortunately, for Merirok Brandybok, and there are too many orcs. They are bringing the Hobbits to Mordor this time, not to Isengard. Oh, oh, Mary! Can he make... Oh, he was so young. Okay, in the meantime, Mordor was able to creep the first layer with the orcs. They get level 2, they unlock, unlock the black orcs. And you know what they like to see. Once you go black, I can't see the rest. Gollum is going to be used for scouting. So far, a very good game for a Mordor faction player, Rangel. He's doing a very good job. He's a very good looking beast. Also, the furnace here. It, it's okay because you can demolish this later on and go for the troll cage. But for now, he doesn't need trolls. He can recruit the Haradrim warriors, combine them with the orcs and creep. Haradrims are actually like a soft counter to the Rohirrim too. Because if they get trampled down by the Rohirrim, they have the chance to deal revenge damage. So when you fight against Haradrims with the horses, you don't want to trample them. You want to actually stop right before the trample and fight them in the melee range. Okay, Gollum is having a vacation on the Rohan wall and Stable got deleted. Okay, so two Rohirrim into the demolished Stable. This mill didn't get destroyed yet. That's a big mistake from Rohan. The first horses, the first Rohirrim will be sent forward to this location and immediately afterwards to this location. So you want to cut down the resource income from Mordor if you don't want to have a nightmare of a gaming experience later on. Because Mordor is the best scaling faction with the chance of recruiting two Nazgûs in the Witch King without any proper requirements. So basically you don't have to level up any hero like you do have with the Gondor, Isengard or Rohan faction, Mordor faction have all the heroes level 10, the second they join the battlefield they have all the powers unlocked, uh, leadership, the ability to fly is already a big big power for the heroes because they have the chance to chase down every hero. But you know in order to not fall off late game you need to recruit either Eoma first or actually Legolas, okay? Because the thing is Theodin's glorious charge won't do too much in this situation 
and you going for Theoden and actively trying to level him up will make you force, uh, will make you lose. Oh, okay. Map control. And you can see Mordor is getting a lot of map control, which shouldn't be allowed, okay? So, outpost control, but can you protect it though? Mordor's eco is looking amazing. Look at the money. Almost 3k in the bank. He has outpost control. We'll grab the money on the ground. He has one, two lumber mills outside, which he shouldn't. Because, you know, normally you want to go for three row hit him, okay? But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What is the plan of Rohan, you are asking? I don't know. He's going for archery range. All right. I mean, if you don't know, Legolas has been changed in the patch 2.2 to quite a bit. And also elves got changed. So elves, you know, cost less command points, which means you have the chance to spam them quite a bit. But the money is still quite expensive. I mean, the well is making them cheaper. So you can re now recruit them for 480 resources only. However, without leadership, they don't deal too much damage. And you need leadership of Legolas, Theodine, and Aragorn. And what you also need in this matchup is Eowyn. Okay? So orcs, look at them. Quantity has a quality on its own. If also rune soldiers, that's why trampling is not a good idea. Rohirrim, don't lose them. No, 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 no. Okay, not even close, baby. Remember the Rohan player was demolishing this table after the second Rohirrim. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't heal him. You will lose him anyway. Looks like Rohirrim is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> oh, poor dude. You know, the Nazgul is always killing at least one unit, okay? From uh, from any battalion, because he's picking one of them up. So even if you have heavy armor, or night shields, or leadership, it doesn't do anything against the Nazgul or the Witch King, because they are able to pick up any unit. Not a hero, but a unit. And you can see... Oh, Legoras will be recruited, but you need Eowyn too. Okay, Eowyn, the shield maiden is coming in clutch now. The combination of Hoax Strike and the Smite is very powerful. But more the, the thing about the Nazgul is it will open like a huge window and opportunities of opportunities for a more affection player. Rangel will have now the time of his life. If you can get to this spot, get to this situation with the more affection against any faction in the game, in which you have an early Nazgul, you can use the Nazgul to kind of buy yourself so much time and so much map control that you can recruit a second Nazgul and even the Witch King pretty much simultaneously one or two minutes later. Outpost will be taken down. Legolas only level one and we are looking to get him to level five for 20% more increased damage and combat experience. And also more, more importantly, the uh, fear resistance to the elves, okay? And look at this, Gollum is being shot in the face, tanking it like a boss. Look how serious he is, but he's now dead serious. <laughs> okay, Armory is shooting, Archer range is not shooting yet, it has to be level 3. But also Tower can shoot, don't lose this yet. It's very important to not lose this. And that's why you need Eowyn here. Eowyn is coming, you know. And you know her favorite quote, okay. You know, I like to say, hit like a truck. And trust me on that one, but there is something else. Eowyn likes to see herself. I am no man! <laughs> oh, Mordor got tilted immediately using devastation. Nazgul's body is lying on the ground. And that's three minutes window of a cooldown. You just bought yourself when you play Rohan. Because the revive time is gonna take three minutes, which is a long time, okay? But Mordor's money is looking phenomenal. Is so phenomenal that he's able to build up the second troll cage while recruiting multiple trolls who let the trolls out. One, two, three, four trolls, five, fifth troll is in the queue. Outpost and map control is all what Mordor needs. And we expanded the troll cage, which gives Mordor the chance to recruit the drummer troll. I will be used. Oh, but look. At this point, he's feeding command po experience points for Legolas. Each level on this Prince of the Mirkwood Elves is going to make him significantly stronger. So each level giving him a chunk and boost of damage. And he has the highest attack speed from all the heroes in the game. So he's shooting like a machine gun. Pew, 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 pew. And just like in the films, this dude, also in the game, 
cannot run out of arrows, okay? He's unlimited. He's hacking. Okay, Eowyn, level 3, can look like Rohirrim, the best ability in the game, <laughs> but look what it does. It also will give you the chance to, uh, you know, gain more armor, for example. You know, not bad. Okay. Oh, boy. The big boys are coming now, and you have like, legit no answer to this. What, what is the, what's the counterplay for this? Devastation... You know, I'm not a big fan of the vestition unless you have to, right? Unless you have no other choice. But I would rather not go for the second troll cage and not go for the vestition and try to go for the darkness faster or try to save the money for the witch king other than going for the second troll cage. Because in this game, you need to understand quality beats quantity. So, like, let's assume you have four trolls with drama troll against four trolls. If you have eight, let's say you have seven trolls with two drama trolls against four trolls with one drama troll and one witch king the witch king one is gonna win even when witch king doesn't fight himself okay because he gives you 50 percent more damage and armor and this means two of your trolls are stronger than three of the enemy trolls oh my goodness oh yeah screech that's why you need Gimli. You know, you need to give, you need to get Gimli when you want to get fast fear resistant because Gimli unlocks with level two only, and if you kill a couple of Oryx, you will get to level two immediately. And also, Gimli is very good against Mordor, by the way. And here is why, okay? So Gimli with level three unlocks the leap attack, right? And when you jump with the leap attack on the trolls, it won't kill them, but what will what it will do is it will knock them down on the ground. Which will give you time to kill them while they are disabled. Mordor taking over. Literally. Level 4. <laughs> Hog strike on the orcs. I'm at 17. <laughs> What's happening out there? Okay. So... The last two farms, one of them is under attack. Only level one, but this dude can level them up to level two immediately. Watch this, boom, level two. And that's, you know, when you buy, when you buy banner on them, they get level two. And then you level them up right after, they will get level three. And level three gives them insta immunity to fear, okay? Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. Okay, so the good thing about the elves is they are very mobile. It means they have the chance to hit and run, hit and run, kite and engage and disengage, you know? Okay, so what is the plan? The problem is without Eco, you cannot afford to recruit Aragorn, a very important hero for the leadership part. Um, you know, 50% more damage will make those elves hit way harder. And you need Legolas also to be level 5, okay? These are the two power spikes we are looking for. What you can do also do is you can build a wall banner for more DPS and more range and also fear resistance. So if you build the wall banner, it will give you fear immunity, right? That's pretty strong. But look at the minimap dot, <laughs> dude. I mean... You don't want to be in a camping situation against Mordor because Mordor, when it comes to break through the defense of any faction, is the best faction in the game. It's the best siege fa fa faction in the game. You have catapults, and you have you know rams. You have trolls that can break through the walls. You have everything. Mooma kills can do this too. So there is not a single faction like Mordor when it comes to break through the through the walls, through the gates. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, 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 don't lose level 8. It's the only remaining Rohirrim. Oh, Chunking, King, Witch King, of course. Eowyn is not joking around. The shield, Maiden of Rohan, is. Oh, another Nazgul. So we have two Nazguls in the Witch King. That's the true power of the Mono Faction in the Elite Kim. He's even command points kept. He has way too many orcs upon the field. And what you want to do is you want to sell them. Because, you know, Oryx are for free 
in money wise but command point wise they actually cost you 20 command points which is a lot right and for that reason once you get to the point in which you have enough money to go for the primary strong army you can sell sell all your orcs make some money out of it and you know make space in your command points department siege works double and also catapults they cost 20 command points so you cannot spam them when you have like no command points available trolls they actually cost also 20 command points so you can but you know trolls are so strong if you have leadership on them they can be one of them can be as strong as aragorn that's crazy nice that's good that's good level five and also level them up every single time if theodin would be level six or level five rather the king sweeper you have like two level ups level ups so you can level up every level up has the same cooldown right this one has for example one minute 30 seconds this one too and also the speechcraft from saruman or the captain of gondor from faramir everything that can level up units has the same cooldown in the game so when you have two heroes like for rohan for example and they have you know during level five and legolas level four you can do this in rotation remember theory can level up any unit in the game while legolas can only level up archers oh nice nice okay one of the nas goes down but mordor now has darkness and farad is far away from getting to cloud break or to the ants ants are useless in the situation because the trolls will smash them an uh, ant is way stronger than a troll but again we are talking about leadership okay these trolls they will have 100 percent more damage leadership and ants are attacking super slow while trolls attacking super fast the only good thing about the ants is they cannot be knocked they cannot be knocked down on the ground trolls can trolls can fall on the ground Elvin, Spear, one shots the catapult, no problemo. Every one minute you can do this. Elvin is actually also not very bad hero. And not only against Mordor, but also against any other faction. Because her smite will one shot catapults, trebuchet, ballista. And also it chunks heroes, big time. Look at this. 20% bonus damage to all non-flying heroes. So you already deal like more than 100% more damage to the Nazgûl, Witch King and Monsters. But then, if you attack, like Gandalf, for example, with the smite, you also deal 20% more damage to every hero. Makes her to a great hero counter. Yep. I mean, she's not too tanky, though. Oh boy, don't, 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 look, look the damage, look the damage! Dude, the combination of statue behind, this one gives you 50, right, 50, 30, 25, and 20 from Legolas. And imagine if Aragorn would be around. Mordor is playing too scared, he should just go ham, dude. Legit, just go ham. Oh, elves... Oh my goodness. Can they destroy one of the... Oh my... Okay, the Witch King killed... Smart move, I mean, good attempt. Ooh. From Farad, but only two catapults destroyed for uh, Alvin summon. I think it's not very good. But there comes the darkness. So, what you can do is you can go... Yeah, exactly. You can do this. You can go from this location and you don't need to go to this location. You can clear everything from, you know, from the bottom to the top. So go like this, then go up, then go like this, and then go for this one last. Because look, the damage is still crazy from these units. The troll kind of got on top of the wall for no reason. <laughs> but look how tanky he is, dude. It's unbelievable. I mean, dude, what's the point of this? They, he won't come to this location at all. And that's the demonstration of the power of Mordor if you can't shut it down early mid-game. And also another demonstration that map control is everything. Rohan, if he had map control, could be able to recruit Aragorn. Could be able to make more elves. But you need outpost control 
and settlement control to do, to do this. Because Rohan is the one faction that relies on the map control the most, you are sitting only on 7 spots inside the castle, and one of them is a well, one of them is a statue, and one of them is an archery range. So you legit only have 4 farms, and that's just not enough. GG well played, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to leave, a, to leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.